This tactile render was originally developed as part of an EU-funded project intended to virtually recreate the tactile sensations associated with exploring the surfaces of textiles. While this case is limited to two dimensions, the initial concept of the project envisioned two displays that would be mounted onto a force effect device, allowing for full 3D exploration of the virtual textiles. The tactile display used here features 24 contactors arranged in a 6x4 configuration, and each contactor is driven by a separate piezoelectric actuator. The user explores the virtual environment by moving the tactile display as they would a standard computer mouse with their fingertip rested on the display. To aid navigation within the virtual environment, visual feedback is given to the user via a monitor. As the user explores the virtual environment, a marker displays their relative location within the virtual environment, with representations of the virtual textiles illustrating where particular textures are located within the space. The rendering software calculates and refreshes the values of the output signals every 25 milliseconds. The software then transmits the calculated output to the display via a USB port. The calculated output values are converted into displayed driving signals by the driving electronics. The output of each actuator is defined individually, which allows for a spatial variant signal from the display. Possible applications of the system include tactile interaction with objects that cannot normally be touched, either because they cannot be reached or will be damaged by doing so. One example is this situation at the National Museum of Scotland in January of 2011. Here, the renderer was demonstrated to the public by recreating the service of an archaeological textile that exists within the museum's collection.